Hello YouTube. Uh, today it's Mr. Partis XD again, and uh, today I've got my new ist prop, which is the 10 millimeter pistol, which I actually just finished today. And um, when I talk uh, after I talk about the prop, uh, I mean that's mainly going to be two different things in the video today. One, I'm going to talk about the prop obviously first, um, and then the second thing I'm going to talk about is uh, new things I'm going to do to my channel. Uh, because, you know, normally I just, for prop making videos, I like scan over the prop, and, uh, that's it. I don't do a vlog, I don't do anything like that. And then you can't really tell how big the prop is as compared to me being an actual human. Um, you know, you just see how big it is compared to, like, my floor. So, but back to the prop. Um, so, it is the 10 millimeter pistol. And uh, this isn't completely done yet because I'm making a silencer for it. But, I mean, the pistol itself is done. It's just I do, the silencer is going to be a nice little piece that's going to go on there. So, it's got a, I've got a piece of piping that fits on there like that. doesn't fall off or anything. You know, it's nice and snug. Uh, I mean, I can shake it, whatever. Um, but it obviously still needs the base for the silencer. And I've got a little bit of fake wear on there, there's some brown, uh, there's some brown on the other side, a little bit of grays, the gray is more evident uh, over here, and uh, I mean other than that, uh, there's not too much on this that's too interesting, I mean it's it's just cardboard layering, um, so this here is cardboard, this here is cardboard, this here, it's all cardboard except for the trigger, the sight, the hammer, and the front sight, those are made of, uh, like, I, I want to say particle board, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty, pretty sure it's particle board, um, and the sights actually got, um, let's see if I can line it up real quick, uh, there we go, I tried lining these up the best I could, so that they were a nice, like, 90 degrees, and they were, you know, at the right angle, because I don't want them to be all, uh, like, crooked and stuff, because then it doesn't look right. Uh, but, other than that, um, that's pretty much all that's gone on. Because, over the winter, you know, I can't make as many props, because it's hot out, or, or it's cold out, sorry, and it's humid. So, paint doesn't dry all too well. Um, my garage is always full of, uh, what's it called, cars my car and you know if it's full of cars then <laughs> can't build props um so that's why the anti-material right over here um i started work on this again with the scope because i still have to make i have the magazine i just need the magazine holder um i need to build that out of particle board and the scope i started that so i mean i don't even know if i want this one this one's it's okay looking it's not great so yeah i i gotta work on that um but on to the second topic at hand which is new videos um so uh now that it's spring now that i'm making more props now that all that's happening i figured why not change up the way i do videos and it's mainly going to be like what you saw today, but with an addition to scanning over the prop, and I'm not in the frame. So it'll probably first start out as me talking in a vlog like this, you know, showing it, um, and then scanning it over with the camera at the second point. And then I'm also going to do editing, so uh, color correction, and uh, better lighting, and computer effects that way. Like, it fades in and it fades out, and there's transitions between each thing. That way it's nicer, um, because for a while, if you've been watching my videos, basically, you know, for the past six months or so, I know that some people have been with the channel for, like, the full nine, ten months that I've been on YouTube. Um, so, yeah, um, I had to use YouTube Editor at one point, because my computer crapped out on me, and I had to use a crappy netbook that was my mom's, so I couldn't, like, edit videos, I couldn't do anything, my now I've got another computer, 
now I can edit videos, now that I can do all that, because um, any editing I did before was in YouTube Editor. Uh, I remember maybe like my first one or two videos had um, actual Windows Movie Maker editing, which still isn't all too great, but it's for prop making, it's not like I'm making short films or anything. Um, but, yeah, uh, so that's basically it when it comes to, um, channel updates. The only other thing, I mean, just overall, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make it a better, um, layout. That way it's easier to understand. Um, so, yeah, I'm just trying to, you know, edit them some more so that they look nice. You know, they fade in, they fade out. Um, and I'm also trying to keep them within three to four minutes when it's just single prop when the collections um, my like, collection back there uh, when I do like full overviews on that then I will probably try to go for like 10 or 13 minutes that way you get like all the details um, but other than that there's not too much to my new to my channel but if you like this video, drop it a like, helps out my channel, helps out the video, and I really appreciate it if you have a comment um, or anything to say that I can improve with videos. If you have something, to, some way I could improve it, drop it down in the comments. I read every comment. I reply to almost all of them. Uh, and if you want to see an example of how I'm trying to improve videos, simply click like right, right here. Uh, click right here for the Nuka Grenade, and uh, that has fade in, fade out transitions. Um, I tried to improve lighting on that. I tried to do the best I could on that video, and if you like that, drop that a like too. I really appreciate it. Um, so on the note, I think I'll see you guys later. Thanks. Bye-bye.